More than 150 world leaders have come to Paris and are here together in one place at the same time with one purpose. We have never faced such a test. And we salute the people of Paris for insisting this crucial conference go on. An act of defiance that proves nothing will deter us from building the future we want for our children. We have been presented with two options and we need to choose. We either condemn our planet to further destruction or we save it. Those are our stark choices. Canada is back, my good friends. We're here to help, to build an agreement that will do our children and our grandchildren proud. Merci beaucoup. Just imagine, just imagine you are in my shoes. What would you do? I believe no leader around or in this room Carry such a level of worry and responsibility. No leader here in this room can say the total of its territory and all its citizens would disappear. If we were to allow temperature increase to anything more than 1.5 degrees. People from the Pacific, people of oceanic cultures need no convincing. We are already convinced. We know that there is danger in the air. And we ask that Secretary General continue his effort to convince our industrialized nation friends of the emergence in nature of this planet and that the Secretary General should declare a global emergency to, should, to show that the world is in peril at this time. Australia is not daunted by the challenge. With great optimism and faith in humanity's genius for invention, we are confident that with our collective leadership, we will, in common cause, secure our future. Thank you. For success, moderating our lifestyle is necessary and possible for low carbon future excellencies. The presence of 196 countries tells us that we have a chance to unite behind a common purpose.